tendons are a bit of a Cinderella of the musculoskeletal system. They connect muscles to bone and without tendons will not be able to really stabilize a joint or indeed to undertake movement. Um, one of the big problems is that tendons are not glamorous, or at least as not quite as glamorous, for example, as ligaments. For example, we all know about anterior crucial ligament tears, but very few people understand the great morbidity that uh, simple tendon diseases induce. Think about, for example, how prevalent is shoulder pain. Most patients with shoulder pain would have um, rotator calf tears. Most patients who just go out to run um, have problems, have a lifetime problems with their lower limb ten, uh, tendons. We have been studying uh, the issue of tendon problems for several years and um, we have tried to get together uh, a whole variety of uh, healthcare professionals ranging from doctors, from endocrinologists, sports physicians, orthopedic surgeons, but also physiologists and basic science scientists. In this way, we have been able to marry all the various disciplines and ascertain how uh, the metabolic system and endocrinologists Technological disorders can influence on tendons. We have been able to demonstrate, for example, that uh, even though we are still in the normal levels of glycemia, for example, uh, tendons are affected by high level of glucose in the, in the plasma and have disorder in glycosylization and in the ability of tendon to sustain stress, stress and strains. One of the great issues is that uh, we have together managed to sort out a way of integrating all this information and put it all together. Uh, in this way, we are, we are going to be able to cross-fertilize and to really seed uh, a whole host of variety of, um, of specialties in order to come together and to see how we can improve patients' outcomes.